All right, what do we got here? Mind's Eye, not what I want. Teething Wormlet seems like it could be good. Well, we try Teething Wormlet out. We've got a Swift Spear, Steel Saker, Vangel, Wing Commando. Confrontation, which I've been kind of down on the removal. Let's take uh let's take Teething Wormlet pick one here. Alright, Disciple's not terribly good, neither is Deathbloom Ritualist. Excavation's no good. Tactician! is very good if we end up in blue. Could be a really good card. We got a giant growth, a whirling strike, a blitz, if we wanted to kind of go into the green red. I think we take tactician here. Seems like a pretty solid pick. In case blue white just tends to uh, ends up being very open. All right, <clears throat> Thran Vigil Meh, Courser I think is kind of Meh. Yeah, not good. Ornithopter Power Suit Deadly Synchronize. Not really great cards. Stalwart, I think, is okay. We could do, we could do Stalwart. <clears throat> Just to continue to cut green. Could also just pick the Courser. Nothing terribly good here. Let's try the Courser out. Try the Stalwart out. Death Touch, if you control three or more artifacts, when an artifact enters the battlefield, you gain one life, and it gets plus one, plus one for the first time. <laughs> Well, I like Gift. There's a Boulder Branch here, too. Older branch could be a decent option as well, but it's worse if we're going to go for like a low to the ground kind of gruel green red, which would be this, I think, the strongest option um, with Wormlet. All right, what do we got here? Mass production, air trooper. Wasteful Harvest and Sprite. Sprite's okay. I think I like Sprite over Rust Goliath. Continue to just cut green. Um, Paratrooper's been, been really good if we wanted to ditch our green and go for the blue-white strategy. Just do some soldier stuff. Mass production is pretty meh. 
Just keep cutting green. Uh, we've got a shoot down and we've got a sprite. Mishra, which I'm not really on right now. A bit of reunion is okay, but let's just keep going with our main color. Shoot downs usually, I think, go pretty late. And <clears throat> they're kind of like bad removal. Sigil of Valor, and a meh. Ooh, Blast Runner versus Confrontation. I think Blast Runner's pretty good in the green-red strategy. And Epic Confrontation's okay. Um... But I've found that the fight spell, or the um, the fact that this is sorcery speed, is just really unfortunate. Chromatic star versus another sprite here. Chromatic star is a uh, really good in black red and in blue red where the artifact sacrificing is really important which uh, not so not such not so important in green red tinkering's awful unleash shell strong bull Strong Bull's okay. The Strong Bull really works well with the Goblin. But it's not like... I I don't think I would go out of my way to pick up Strong Bull. All right, let's see what's wheeling here. We got an excavation. I think we'll go with a blitz here over the giant growth. Eh, actually, let's just keep cutting here. Happy early Thanksgiving, Shock. How's it going? Um, okay, so we've got Onslaught, which is like a blue-red card. Domination. I don't think we're going to play the Domination. Um, let's see here. Blanchwood armor, maybe. If we end up in just like mono green, and I guess it's kind of okay. Bitter reunion's okay. Oh, we get two bitter reunions. I don't think we're going this direction. Okay, Sahili. Do we splash blue for Sahili? Well, we could go with Strong Bowl and Mutt. But I think we'll try to splash Sahili. And if we don't have any, if we don't end up having a way to play her, that's okay. We're just rare drafting a little bit. We'll at least see if we can get like all I really need is an evolving wilds or some sort of mana source. We also have stalwart. 
which will count as one. So I just needed an evol one evolving wilds or an energy refractor or something like that, and then we can place a Healy. Alright, what do we got here? Arms race, blast, rock, rust goliath, Paul Bearer, Epic Confrontation, Boulder Branch. I think it's going to be a Boulder Branch here. Boulder Branch is not really great in the green red go low strategy, so we may end up cutting it. But compared to the other options here, they're all kind of just meh. Um, over the blast, I just uh, the 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 pyric blast I don't really like. I would rather have the life gain. Uh, I haven't found I haven't been super impressed by removal in the set. To be honest, it feels like. It's not super important. Blast Runner, I think, is going to be good here. But we're not really getting any of our artifact synergies, so it's a little bit of a question mark. You like this shell? <laughs> I, I I'm kind of I'm feeling less great about uh, confrontation and bushwhack. They both seem to be two for one situations um, against like uh, specifically black instant removal. So I've been doing um, I've been having more success with um, green red just really focusing on creature synergies. Patrol's okay, guard's okay. Yeah, and I'm still, like, if they play certain cards, you just lose, right? Like, if they play Siege Veteran and you're not playing some sort of removal, then you're just, you just lose. And maybe that's just what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, Cinder Maw is good. It's kind of uh, like playing a linear strategy. Instead of having the interaction with the removal, you just play, you're like, hey, can you answer this? And if they can, then you're like, congratulations, you win, you know. My question is whether or not we run Branchwood Armor, even if it's not in mono green. I think if green is our main color, then maybe we do that. But if it becomes red, which it's looking like it might. Forge Chanter, Juggernaut. There's some choices here. I think we go with Juggernaut of these options. Oh, actually, wait, no, 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 I think Forge Chanter is actually a secret Gruul card. It's a tough choice, but with uh, with giant growths and gifts and things like that, I found that the Forge Chanter really works well in green-red. We'll take an Honor Guard here. I think we can find better things for it, though. But over, I mean, we're not playing another, we're not playing two of these. We're only playing this in a pinch. We don't have enough two drops by the end. Whirling Strike, Scrapsmith. 
Uh, we have not seen any fixing. I don't like rivalry in green red. Whirling Strike should be okay as a one of. I don't think any of these are really going in. <clears throat> we do we could throw in one dig site. I like dig site more in mono. Rusk Goliath is really not what we're trying to do. Take a raise here or just take the rare draft. I think we'll just rare draft. It's pack two and we almost have everything that we need. I saw that. I saw the mono red deck. Only shell. White artifacts deck. All right. Well, we're getting some just kind of questionable removal, which, um, Definitely not, like, bad to see. We probably don't run two of them. The Honor Guard, just in case. Take this for just uncommon vault progress. I think the other card's better. Two Teething Wormlets. Oh, man. I wish I had more artifact synergy. What are we at? We have one artifact. Man, <laughs> maybe we'll get a bunch of artifacts here. There's an explosion here. This would be better for the, the wormlet, but let's just take the rare here. Silex. <laughs> I ended up playing with that Silex in the uh, Peeps and Keeps. That was interesting. Uh, disfigure. Probably Gift here over the Strong Bowl. Strong Bowl, I really am, I have mixed emotions about. I can't decide if it's a C or if it's a B. And I think it is a B. But only if you have the Artifact Synergy, right? And... I don't think we do. It works really well with the Blast Runners. Bitter Reunions. That's a tough choice. I think we want we want another gift, though. All right, what do we got here? Defense Grid, Blast Zone. Paul Bear, Ray's Domination. Guess we're taking the rare here. We could try the blast zone out, but I don't think it's the right deck for it. Sometimes having something targeted removal could be really nice. I guess it's a better rare than this, and we might play it. All right, we've got blast. Junkyard, Genius, Tinkering, Stalwart, and another Bitter Reunion. <sighs> Nothing particularly good here. Are we on Creatures? Is that a 13 or a 
10 or 13 or an 18. Uh, let's take the blast. No, not what we're trying to do. Blitz versus Rock Hunter. I think we can take the Blitz here. There is an energy refractor which would allow us to place a Healy. But we would have to play two, two blue. I feel like Sahili. All right. The Draftsmith has the, like the worst location on this. We got an epic confrontation. We've got an evolving wilds. Uh, the energy refractor, I think I would rather play, but like this, this just makes it even easier to play Sahili. Cause then we can just play one. I've got one sit and all stalwart. I was just thinking like artifacts here. We've got another one. I mean, gotta take this, right? Cliff Stomper is the mono red beast. Yeah, between Evolving Wilds and Energy Refractor and Stalwart, like, we're going to be able to play Sahili. That was a nice pickup to get the Engineers there. I don't think we play that many Bitter Reunions. Guess I might play the two stalwarts. We'll see. Combat courier. Now that we have enough splash for blue, we might play combat courier. Combat courier is pretty good. It is a blue card, though. Wasteful Harvest is no. Onslaught, no. Keeper of the Cadence just for Vault Progress, or do we maybe play this? Doubt we play that. Let's just take this for Vault Progress. I think we're in a good place. We already have to figure out cuts. We ended up in a place. Now, supply drop might actually work. It's a thought. Okay, so we need two more cuts. Definitely going to be a 16 lander with how many ones and two drops we have. We have no card draw. I guess we have bitter reunion. It can help us flood or it mitigate the flood a little bit. We've got the stalwarts, which is a little bit like it's a squiff, but between one, two, three, and then like I think that counts as four sources of blue. It's a little thin. I think Pyric Blast is pretty weak. Then double pip red. What if I just... I'm going to try it with just combat tricks and no removal. And hopefully our draft go, our draft club goes a little bit better. Alright, well we've got Stalwart, in t which could tap for Sahili. So we'll see if the dream happens. One, two, 
tap three for Sahili, play Arbalist. Could be pretty good. However, if they kill our stalwart, then we're pretty sad. Okay, so next turn we can play Sahili. We have to tap both to do it, but a turn three Sahili is a thing. I imagine. They'll have a hard time getting to it unless they have direct removal. And then what? We have to tap an untapped artifact we control to start the card, in card engine. And then we can pump out some more artifacts from there, so that's pretty decent. We could also just keep the pressure up and play this on turn three. And it depends on what they play here. Agarush decks are my forte, and I think you've done a nice job with draft. Uh, with this draft to play into that strength. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely think that like my my impression going into the set was that it was going to be all ramp into big artifacts. And I definitely think that there are some colors that are doing that like green white and green blue that are just power stone into big artifact creatures. Oh my goodness. Do we go for the turn three Sahili? Or do we just pump gas? The fact that this can just hit makes me think we go... I think we go with the Arbalus Engineers here and play Sahili when we have less of a good attack option. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Now now we have less of a good option, so we can tap here. Uh, so we have a total of five mana to work with, which is not enough to like cheese out the boulder branch. That's another thing, too, is the stalwarts do actually make the boulder branch a little bit more playable. Um, but I think what we do is we play out, play out Sahili here and tap the sprite attack with the engineers. So we can attack with the engineers first and see if they trade. Because if we play out Sahili, they're less likely to block and more likely to just go for like a crackback strategy. So we definitely want to attack first. Doesn't seem bad. Does not seem bad. We can even use this to tap. For the scry ability. Hopefully we get some of our uh, combat tricks here. Because if they slam like a 4-4 or something like that, we don't really have an answer for it. Deathsea loves it, but he's always up to multicolor shenanigans. That <laughs> sounds like Death Deathsea for sure. A fellow vapor. <laughs> Not the only one blowing clouds. Why do they keep going hovering over Sahili? Wait. Sacrifice an artifact or creature, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Um we could play we could play Sprite and Stalwart. 
which would put us at six. That way, if we draw land, we could play Boulder Branch. We could also just play Boulder Branch as a 3-3, but I think we're going to need some beef. So I think I like the go wide. And uh, if they do have a board wipe, deals one, minus one, minus one to everything. That's pretty bad. Seven also is the ability for us to pump Sprite. But I imagine they play Patrol here. If they play Patrol, it's great, because then if we draw the land, then we can threaten to attack. <laughs> Prowler's interesting. Do they go with the land? Rager. Do they go with the plus two, plus two, or do they... Because right here... Ooh, we hit it. Do we threaten with sprites? The problem is that I have to keep back the flyers. The flyers deal two damage. I could also just attack all here. I think slamming the, the golem down is pretty good. Also, not that bad of an idea, maybe, to just start pumping the sprites. One sprite dies here. And then I just play the golem as a 3-3 is another option. We just go wide. If I had one more mana, it would be brilliant. <laughs> we could just take the turn off. But I think what we do is we just attack here. And just play the, the, the boulder branch golem as a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, to pump... So I could have attacked with the two two twos. Keep these four back. And then these are threatening as four fours. But the problem with that is they just multiple block one of them, right? So here we eat a sprite. Deal three damage. Which puts them on quite the clock. Like, they're essentially at one HP because of the flyers. I like attack all there, that seems fine. Let's see, if they double spell and play two creatures, they can't play the Rager, because the Rager just kills them. Um, if they play two creatures, then they can block everywhere and go to one. Command counts. Giant growth is lethal, though. All right, Sahili was the winner of that game. And if we had played to turn one wormlet into that instead of a, well, I guess we needed this for the um, for the ramp, or to, to be able to play Sahili. But still, if this, instead of like turn two sprite, if we had done a, a teething wormling, it'd have been okay. That had to be grueling for the opponent. <laughs> Well, we beat Titania's command, which <laughs> I'll take it. That's a supreme value card for sure. We don't have red. We play Stalwart, then turn two we can play this, tap both to play Stoneseeker. 
We've got giant growth shenanigans. I think we can make something work here. And then teething wormlet will become a 2-2. Two -two. It all falls apart if they kill stalwart. Okay. Maze Mine Tome, this is a good brown card for sure. The 4 life is particularly bad against aggro. Okay, so... Play Teething Wormlet. This is this worked out pretty well. And then we've got Warrior here. If we draw land, we can courier into engineers. And then we've got our two combat tricks for when they finally get a blocker out. It's looking okay. What if this was just a game? You gain one life and a plus one plus one. Ah, boo. Well, man, they've got scry times a bazillion, so they've got really good filtering going on here. Uh, the good news is I can use this as a tap outlet. The bad news is, is that it uh, no longer allows me to attack with a beefy dude. Wow, we didn't hit the land. But we can still play. We we can still play this by tapping here. I think we do that. It's really too bad too that because like teething wormlet was gonna get really big. Man, this uh, maze mine tome and our opponent like taking their time on each little thing. <laughs> Priority is killing me, man. What are you doing, Ragnar? It's really too bad we weren't able to attack with the Wormlet there. Scrap work cohort. That's annoying. What a draw. What a draw. I don't think we're going to need to tap here to bring out anything. So I'm pretty sure this is just a... Attack all. They block the 1-1. One, one. They block a 1-1. One, one. Probably the combat courier, because the unearth is blue. And then the engineers. When there are four or more, exile it. Okay, so next turn they gain four life. They decided to top it, okay. I 
I'm going to take advantage of the trample here. Play Whirling Strike. We could sacrifice the courier, but I like the fact that we can go wide. They're at 11, right? Oh no, they only have two? Oh, okay, never mind. I think they might be dead. Depends on what they can do for one mana. But with the um, Menace, I'm pretty sure they're toast. They blocked the 3-1 and the 1-1, and then we've got 6 damage through, never mind. Well, they might block incorrectly. They put the 1-1 one, one in front of the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they're going to block with the Menace! What? Oh, well, I guess they could have they could have a trick here. <sighs> if they do have a trick for one mana... Is there a one mana bounce in the set? I would rather them bounce the courier. Guess there is a one mana. I don't know the tricks well enough yet. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed green. I feel like I've been in green. I've been in green, blue, and red the most, I think. Okay. They do have one. They have a spell. What, what's their spell? Oh, interesting. Okay, so I should I should have put it over here. There is a one mana bounce. Ah, I should. Okay, I, with the prowess, I should have. I should have. I should have known that and put it over here. I go to five. To sacrifice the power stone. Oh, that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. I only have two one ones left. Man, if I'd gotten rid of the 1-1, one, one, they'd have one less blocker, and that might matter. We can we can play this and kill it. As far as a blocker goes. Really wish I did have uh, now I kinda wish I had blast. Because we could just blast with wormlet. But I've had that card just not be very good. Amazonian likes uh, Celestia. I think Celestia is in a pretty good spot. The best archetype from 17 lands data is Boros. Oh, great. Going wide. Do we have reach? 
Not really. This one deals one damage to any target. We needed to deal one damage. We need to deal one damage, and then we can just ping face with this. And the problem is that they... No, because they gain the four. They gain the four life. Ugh. I think Ragnar's got us. If I had blocked differently, they'd be down. Okay. Let's just think about... I think I punted. Because if... If I had killed the one, anticipating them to play that, right, then they would have three blockers right here. I'd have three attackers, so they would still not have, I would still be dead. All right, so Sprite, they have to, okay, so they have to block Sprite with the 2-2 two -two flyer. It's the only thing that... And then our 1-1s just trade. But I can trade it for the Wing Commando. Stalwart, we're at 5, this would put us at 6, so... I think because... Wait, 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 wait. And play that. We just trade the board. Trading the board doesn't feel good. Just go wide. The problem is they can create a bunch of one ones. I played this as a 3-3. Three, three. They have to block here. That Oh, I might have had lethal. Oh, no, wait, they had a 3-1 blocker. If this was a trample, though, they have to multiple block this as a trampler. I didn't kill cohort. If I played this as a 3-3 three, three trampler, this has to be blocked here. It's the only non-artifact where they're just dead. And then this has to be multiple blocked. I think I put him in a 1 HP. But this is what we've done so far, right? Because like, so the three one blocks this, and a one one blocks this, and then a one one blocks courier or stalwart. And they go to one HP. And they lose their board anyway. I wouldn't have the engineers and I wouldn't have the courier. All right, is that enough to pump? That is enough to pump. Very good. And then I'll just tap these two. We get rid of their flyers, at least. For one, right? That's weird how they make you tap that. They're dead next turn if they don't play a non... They're dead next turn if they can only play artifacts. They also have only... They only have three blockers, so they're dead that way too. Nice. 
Nice, they're tapped out. They do have to continue blocking this. I have four blockers. We're just shy. If this had been a combat trick, we'd win. I guess we'll play this to prevent having to tap a bunch of our, like, tapping more stuff. But they're tapped out and they're forced to block. Sprite's been MVP for me. Should I pump now or should I pump later? Guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not doing anything else with my mana. Um, with it tapped, it's already toast if they have a power stone. Oh my god, just chump blockers off the top, okay. If they attack us, we're dead. If they attack us, they're dead. Oh, wait a little. Okay, so not quite enough to play Sprite. Can't play Sprite and pump. Maybe Courier, sacking Courier here to look for um, something that is lethal. I've just been keeping it there because... We're almost lethal, right? We have five attackers, they have four blockers, so... I think I'll go with not pumping the sprite. Just play a sprite, keep developing the board. I was gonna say, like, now you've got two blockers. Toast. We got there. Sprite. Sprite is MVP. On in a blender, watch it spin round to a beautiful oblivion. Love the song so much. Hey, we actually have the combo. Wait, whoa, and we have the red. Turn one, turn two, turn three. Sack this, make these huge. Doesn't sound bad to me. Just mono red dreams over here. Oh, ruined. I guess not ruined, but... Should have attacked first, whatever. Should have attacked first. Always attack before playing 90% of the time. Combat trick right here would be really nice. Ooh, hey, asking you shall receive. This is pretty sweet. All right, let's think about our options here real quick. I'm distracted. Okay, so Goblin Blast Runner as menace as long as you sacrificed a permanent, period. If they multiple block the Stone Seeker, then this is pretty much dead. But we can activate the Strong Bull when we play it with the Power Stone. 
That seems pretty decent to me. So let's go for that play. Could also just do the giant growth and see how they do that. Oh, if they didn't want to block at all, okay. I guess I didn't need to sacrifice the Power Stone then. Well, this is pretty sweet. Because uh, this, this, this sacrifice right here... We could also just save it, though. We could save the Evolving Wilds play for double Blast Runner and just use the giant growth this turn. Nah. Just go wide. So that's seven damage, they go to five. Release the beasts. No, they gained three life. That's cheating. Really wish I had an artifact to sacrifice, but I'm pretty sure this is just a charge moment. We're going to lose some things here. Um, the 2-2 two, two blocks the 1-2. The 3-3 three, three blocks the 2-3. Then the 1-1 one, one trades with the 1-1. One, one. Let's see how they block. I think we, we save the strong bull. We lose one goblin here. Maybe we lose multiple goblins. All right, so Stone Stormseeker gets a two for one, but I think we keep Strongbow alive. And maybe that was the wrong move there, too. Really depends on if I draw an artifact or not. If I draw Sahili, it would be insane. All right, they get a 3 2. Ooh, wow. Actually, we, th creating the Power Stone here to sack is better, right? Because then I'm attacking with a 3-4 and 2 minutes. I think that's better. Create a tapped Power Stone token and then we just blow it up. Pretty sure. I think that's lethal. Unless they have a combat trick. 
we got there. All right, Teething Wormlet versus Blast Runner, turn one. Wormlet would be better if we have if this if we draw the Stone Seeker. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go for it. Goblin Blast Runner attacks better. As a one two, but I'm gonna believe in encouraging the deck to send us our power stone cards. That's how that works, right? Uh oh. Deck is looking kind of pancake. And we're up against Boros. I hate being up against Boros. We get a one out. Okay. We do guy. Let's see, giant growth and gift here, but I don't think it's going to be important one way or the other. So we'll probably use the giant growth because the gift keeps something alive. So I don't think it really matters. If we play the blue or not. Well, we drew a lot of our one drops, <laughs> and that's the problem with this uh, this style of deck is it doesn't have the best consistency when you have that many one drops. So we've been pretty lucky that we've gone three zero. And here, if I had played it differently, it wouldn't have mattered with the forest. Then we have to make a, a judgment call between Gaia's Gift and Giant Growth. And I think that if we Giant Growth, we're very likely to be two, two for one here. So I think we do this, and then we do... Brock Hunter, okay. We really need an artifact. Oh, never mind. Double green is more important because we have the boulder. This, though, allows us to have menace. Okay, so we're going to discard the mountain. We're going to play out the forest. We're going to do this. Discard the mountain. All right. And then we're going to sacrifice this. Play this for the giant growth trick. Do we just let it go or do we giant growth here to save the two three?
choices. I don't think we're going to have very good attacks after this anyway. I'll just let it go. Save the counter in a one. Doesn't feel right. We need to draw some sort of action here. That combat trick. We might have. Maybe we should have done that combat trick there. Them not playing a card here would be great. Dang it. Well. They didn't block, which is smart. They're hitting for five, we're hitting for two. We can use this to block. Block and sack. Onslaught. <sighs> Take four. We save the giant growth here. Like, we block, we take four. Sprite's interesting. Ooh, okay, platoon is not good to see. If we had gotten another trick here... We can we can do this to make this menace three six so we weren't really we're not that far off from lethal but like we in trouble. We're not going to block with the blast runner. Should have done that first then. Okay. We just have to have enough to do lethal on crackback. I liked the courier in the deck. It did feel good with the goblin war runners, the goblin blast runners. It felt okay enough. We do get to pump Sprite. So if, if Sprite gets through, we have lethal. If they attack with everything we just need, uh, like, if they attack, yeah, let's see how they attack. The A space, it's big gulp time. Yep, yeah, there it is. All 
right, so let's say... Okay, so we can pump. If we draw a land, we can pump and giant growth, but we only have a 36% chance of hitting a land. So this would be 4, 6 damage. Okay... Plus one, plus one. All right, so this gets plus four, seven. That's lethal. They give a plus one, plus one to everything. Otherwise, why would they attack with these? So that's three, four, five, six, nine. I'd be dead. So let's, we just have to like accept the fact that they have a trick. Oh, huge! Good. Oh my god, they played it. Okay, there's hope. Oh no! Wait, okay, they, they can't block. They can't block these two. Oh, they could have removal though. So they block here, and they're planning on going to 6. Maybe they're not playing around the giant growth? This is what we've got. This is the, this is the line. If they have an answer for it, they have an answer for it, and we did. Ha ha ho! Take that, platoon dispenser! That was intense. How's it going, Merc? Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're having a wonderful day. That was... Mm, chef's kiss. So good. Alright, we don't have the um mana yet for teething wormlet but we do have blast runner and courier which we can sack for some early pressure hopefully we draw green <clears throat> and why is my show phases off was there an update Huh, we drew our one island. That is interesting. Guess we can pay the unearth for this then. Off to an interesting start. Up against red white, huh? Well, we could sacrifice this, but I think playing Strong Bull out is pretty good. The only downside is we don't have very good attacks if we do that. But I think we'll just develop the board here. See if they have a combat trick. Bone saw. Well, that puts them in a kind of an awkward spot. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Oof, da choof, da. We need to hit some lands here. Come on, green. Ha ha. Very good.
Uh, hopefully we draw a second green source here. No artifact synergy to sack. Oh no, <laughs> Myral, huh? Still only one green source for three green cards in hand. That is not good. We can unearth this. There's no way that they block with Myral, right? They're just going to get so many soldiers next turn, we're in trouble. We need to draw removal for my roll. So, I guess we'll unearth this. Play... I guess I could have played the other Wormlet. Interesting, we can play Sahili. Now, if they multiple block... It does get rid of their soldier count, though. That might be worth doing. This is a little bit of a questionable play, but Sahili gets to create two artifacts, which means that we're going to pump our teething wormlets up, which is very good for us. We do need to get rid of Myral, though. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going to take some damage here. Gosh, and if they have their last card is escape, we're in trouble. Hey, Shock, how's it going? Sorry I didn't see you there. Oof, da choof, da. Okay. Oh, what a combo. Oh my god, what a combo. Gulp. Oh, we did. Takes 16 damage, and then we're just basically... I mean, there's like no way to recover from this. We're going to have four blockers, and they're just... <sighs> this will become a 3-3, three, three, which isn't enough to really get rid of their 6-4. And this also has first strike. This is bad. This is very bad. We have to kill this, otherwise they just get too much value out of it question I have is whether or not this should just block, and I think it should. I think we're dead anyway. I get to show my opponent at least what I was going to do here. Um, maybe playing out the other Wormlet was worse than having the giant growth. Because then we would have been able to take Strong Bull out of uh, harm's way. Boulder Branch, you say?
Well, we're going to take a fair amount of damage here. It's too bad we didn't get the... I wanted to have the Teething Wormlet combo with Sahili. That was the whole point of the deck. Um, we're definitely on defense, which is not good. Sahili so might, might buy us a turn. And they've got a really good Boros deck going on. My roll, Blagi Vanguard, Scrapwork Cohort. There's some combos there. Yeah, maybe it was a little harsh on um, the Flaggy Vanguard. Are we dead? Let's see, if I block a 4 or 2, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, four okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I believe we're just dead. Even if I block a 2, 1. Pretty sure. So this can block the 4-4 four, four and not die. And then this can block a 3-1 and a 3-1. And I don't think we're dead. Wait, are we exactly dead? Oh, we are. Oh, wait, no, the first strike already. I'm going to be at 2 HP. Well, Boulder Branch keeps us alive. This scry here. It's a body. Is it enough of a body? Sure. We gain 3 HP. I just don't think we can block enough to live here. Oh well. Nice. Well, off to a off to a loss here. Okay. It's a hand. We don't really have anything for ramp though. That's the issue is that like four lands and two stalwarts is basically like a six lander. Well, that's a good draw. They took the damage and then didn't kill the most important one. That's a good card. Doubt there's any way that they block, right?
one for one trade, but genius genius needs to die. That's a scary card. Bitter Reunion. Interesting. I don't think we're at the point where we want to use Bitter Reunion. Although we do kind of have an unused mana. Could Bitter Reunion and Pray to draw more land? We want to draw the Artifact Synergy for sure. I think we're going to wait. And then... Oh, that's right, this taps. I could tap for mana. I guess I'll tap, because I'm not going to attack to bring out the sprite. Welcome back to magic. Gotta get my brain working. So far, this has been looking okay, though. They're black, red, and... They've been playing some pretty good cards, though. Genius, Infiltrator, Wellspring, and they have another Genius. Uh-oh. Okay. Definitely want an answer for that. Now, is Forge Chanter worth discarding? Forge Chanter's kind of meh, right? Yeah, it's kind of filler anyway. Well, against this board, though, maybe not. This does let us do prowess. I need an artifact real bad, though. Now, if we do this and we draw two lands, then that's just how it is. Interesting, okay. So we've got Gift. We've got good attacks here. Apply the pressure. If they don't make us use the Gift, then we play the Wormlet. Interesting they keep putting their Necro Genius in harm's way. Okay, that disfigure. They just drew that though, otherwise they would have used it last turn. They had one Swamp untapped. So that's a little unfortunate of a draw. Okay, they're starting to wipe the board. Oh, this combos together. Um, I think I'm okay with letting go of either one of these. They probably trade Sprite, but... Oh, I suppose I could have sacrificed this to give everything haste as well. Uh, maybe that's what I was supposed to do. They would have traded for the wormlet. Ah, they, they didn't top deck anything useful. Do I play the land? I don't think so. Yeah, 
They have to double spell here. Yeah. Well, at least there was the win there. Okay, Evolving Wilds, all three colors. A three drop, a three drop, and a two drop. Well, I suppose we go get a forest. I think. What's our double pips? We don't have any double pips. Okay, well. That's good, I guess. This was supposed to go find the island, but we have it anyway. All right, Denim Ellis, what's up? Uh, that's not a great draw. We could have a flash creature. Oh, I should maybe I should have played engineers. That was probably a mistake not to play engineers there. I'm stuck on one red. Well, I guess this is just play Engineers and Wormlet. Could create the Power Stone, but I think playing a three cost is better. A teething wormlet doesn't really do much. We don't have a whole lot of artifact synergies for teething wormlet. Static net, okay. Wonderful card. Still stuck on one red. I guess we'll play this. Over the one, two. We're at five. A little bit worried about the sauce here. Yeah, that's uh, that's the sauce. Well, they have a 2-3 blocker and a 3-4 blocker. That's a pretty bad wall for us to have to deal with. Um, I don't think we save this at 5 mana. This gets a death touch win. 3 or more artifacts. Yeah, good luck with that. We just go wide here. Deal three damage, and then next turn we deal three damage. Just wait. The longer we give them, though, if we draw a couple of lands in a row, we're dead. Yeah, that's a good blocker. Even just one artifact to sacrifice is pretty decent. Okay, so 
that's not great, but it makes it so we can draw to next turn. And we could sacrifice it. So right now, they would block here, here, and here. We'd hit them for four, six. It'd gain a life. Yeah, the longer this goes on, the less my, my hopes are. You draw a combat trick. Okay, that's not good. They're worried about attacking, though. Uh, sucks to be stuck on that, but I think we just go for it here. Well, that puts us at six mana, and then the sprite can start pushing. Uh, if we attack, we lose a fair amount of stuff. Well, Stalwart, this and Stalwart makes it so I can start attacking with Sprite, or at least pumping Sprite, for some inevitability. I don't think we're at the point where we can sack this and attack, though. Yeah, looks pretty limited, so let's just go for... Um, ramping next turn. <laughs> Let's hope, hopefully Sprite's able to apply enough pressure. Right now it would just trade one. We need to get it to eight before it would two for one. That's a lot of turns for them to find an answer. And maybe it would have been right to hold on to Boulder Branch to have it come down as a 6-5. Although it would only one for one. Ooh, giant growth is interesting. Ooh, but they have a combat trick as well. I think we just wait. Or let's see, three. That would be one, two. So we've got six damage going through. They've got some sort of trick, though. Very, very interesting. It's just not quite enough. It's not quite enough juice. Yeah, Strong Bowl is only artifacts, and right now we're just chilling. Til chilling until we draw Sahili, and they might have Sahili of their own, considering they're splashing red. Although we've seen Iconoclast.
And with the giant growth, if we draw a land, it's pretty tempting to attack. We're close. I think they've got a bounce spell. Because with seven, we, we've, uh, unless they put all of it on the sprite, we can definitely attack with the sprite. And then if we... Ooh, man. We gotta eventually do something, right? So if I sacrifice this, that becomes a 3-2 menace. So that at least trades, or they have to put the 1-4 and the 3-4 on it. And if they do that, that's 8. Alright, do we attack? Do we attack? Got something over there. Do I want to attack here? Three, four. Only if I sacrifice two, three, that gets blocked. Oh, I should have sacrificed before. Let's see what they do. That could have been a bad attack. I'm always so in impatient when it comes to that sort of thing. I'm fine with all of this so far. Oh, they can pump. I always forget that they can pump, so everything gets plus two, plus two. Okay. Ah, okay, I have to use a timeout here. Okay, so now they can pump again. So I lose my golem and I lose my bouncer. I've got a total of seven mana to work with. It's a five, so it still dies. Should have done that before so that it was menace. And then we giant growth here. Oh, no, no, giant growth on the... Oops. Giant growth was lethal. Giant growth here would have been... Giant growth here would have been lethal. Right? Because we have five. No, because they would have gained the two. They would have been at two HP. Dang it! I think I, if I had attacked all there, I needed to think that one out a little bit longer. If they had, um, if they had attacked all, that would have been fine. So they can pump again. They gain three life. Should have done. Should have. Should have sacrificed before, so that this had menace.
It's okay. That wasn't terrible. We got one card, and they got three. <laughs> so we three for one ourselves on that. I always forget Paratrooper can pump. Yeah, they can pump twice. But now we're looking really close to lethal. Because they block here, they block here, they block here. And we deal four damage. That's assuming they don't do anything, though. Okay. Wait, why did they concede? What does this do again? Deals four damage. Sacrifice an artifact. I don't have any artifacts. So that would have been fine to kill the strong bull. But they weren't just dead on the crackback, right? I guess they didn't like me just attacking with a 6 6 that they had to chump. Unless I'm missing something. That seems like a slightly early concede. We got there. Okay. Um, no red, but we have playables. We've got the play, too. Combat courier. Oh, they're happy to trade that. Do I trade it myself? We don't really have a lot of synergies. <laughs> I'll just go for it. Debatable choice there. The refractor. Okay, they're playing a lot of artifacts. Blue artifacts. Nice. Um, do we just play on curve with the golem? Or do we ditch one bitter reunion? If we wait, if we hit a land, we can do this, sacrifice it, give it haste. It depends on whether or not we think things are still going to be open. And this is kind of my answer to running out of fuel. I think we just played the boulder branch as the 3 3 here. Especially because they don't have anything on board. All right, they're setting it up. We got to win quick here. What big scary thing are they going to play? Okay. White stone animation. Pretty good. Very good draw for the gift. So we have seven, they're at seven. We can pump for four, so they're pretty close to dead. Um, I think we'll just go with a single thing here. Save the giant growth.
So we almost have lethal. They'll be at one HP. And I'd rather just answer their threat here rather than put them at one. Because putting them at four is pretty close to lethal anyway. So life and choices right here. All right, one more land, and we can use we can pump the sprite for lethal. So if they play artifact creatures, they die. They have to answer Boulder Branch, or that's lethal. So we've definitely got a good amount of pressure on them. Another Might Stone animation. So that's lethal so far. is good if they yeah they're just tapping out here oh they barely couldn't play the iconoclast boom all right trophy not too shabby